everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to route your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, again, this is for the Sprint variant. I'm not sure if it's gonna work for any other carriers, but I do know it's going to work for the Sprint variant. So here we go, let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, on your device, what we're gonna need to do is go into settings. So go ahead and tap on settings, and then scroll down and go down to the bottom under developer options, select that. And then up at the top, you'll see USB debugging. Go ahead and tap that and hit OK. And there we go. So we're going to need to turn on USB debugging. So uh, once done there, uh, what we can do now is actually we're going to need to download a few files. We're going to need to install drivers on your PC. So what you can do now is go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It will take you to this website right here. Uh, you will see uh, easy root instructions. What uh, this is is basically where you're going to get those files to download. Uh, shout out to Cypher Zero for throwing this together for us. I do want to give a shout out to him. Although I do want to give a huge shout out to Noob NL for putting and uh, MK, MSKIP and Team Epic as well for their work getting this device uh, going to get rooted and such. So there we have it there. So um, once done there, uh, what we're gonna need to do is download some files. First of all, click on this link right here. If you have not, this will be the drivers for your PC. You need to do this. Make sure you download and install these drivers right here. Click on them, download them, and then install the drivers. Once you've done there, go ahead and scroll down all the way to the bottom and you will see three files actually right here. You'll see these three files. You'll see uh, CWM super user right there. You'll also see um, Odin 3 along with Clockwork Mod Tar. Click and download all three of those files. So uh, click and download all three of them. Two of them will be zip files. The other one will be a tar file. So once you go into your downloads folder, you will see all three of them right there. So we've got my tar file and my two zip files right there. So once we have those all downloaded, we are just about ready to go. So what we can do is actually, I recommend going to our desktop. So go ahead and navigate to our desktop. And once done there, I recommend making a new folder actually. So go ahead and right click and go to new and then folder. And once you do that, you can name it anything. I'm gonna name it GS3. Once we rename that GS3, we are ready to go. So we, what we can do is actually go into those, those download files. Um, what you can do right away is just transfer that Clockwork Mod file into that GS3 folder. You can just move it there. But these two are zip files. Um, you can also, uh, what we're going to need to do in a second is transfer this CWM super user file to our phone. So I will get to that in one second. But with this Odin 3 file, what you can do is double click on it. It will open it on up. You will see this folder right here. So what you can do is just press on this folder and click and drag it into your GS3 folder. So again, you double click on the Odin 3 fi zip file and then it, you will see this folder and transfer that folder into your GS3 folder. Once done there, um, we are just about ready to go. With our phone turned on, I want you to go ahead and plug it in. So just go ahead and plug it in. Um, and you'll see it's connected as a media device. If the drivers are installing on your PC, let them install. Uh, don't do anything. Just kind of be patient. Uh, eventually, um, it will pop up on your uh, PC as a mass storage device. Um, so let it uh, load up. It should also say Samsung Android ADB interface. So you'll see it popped up right here. Um, this is the device itself. It should automatically pop up. Just hit open device to view files and you will see this phone option right here. So that would be our internal storage. You'll also see SD card if you have an SD card in your, de in your uh, device. But uh, you will see this phone right here. All you have to do is click on this Clockwork Mod Super User uh, 307 zip and transfer that over to your internal storage where it says phone. Just uh, highlight over phone and let go and you will see once you go into your phone, it is right there. So it is on our internal storage of our Galaxy S3. And once uh, we've transferred that over, we are actually ready to go. So what we can do now is actually unplug our Galaxy S3 from our PC. Uh, we can go back to our phone as well. All right, and once back to our device, what we're gonna need to do is get into download mode or Odin mode, basically the mode you use when you use Odin to install files. So what we're gonna need to do is just power off our device. So go ahead and shut it down. That, by the way, this routing method will not wipe any data, so you do not have to worry about that occurring. Uh, once it powers off, what we're gonna need to do, as I said, is get into that download mode. To do so, what you do is press and hold volume down, the home button, and the power button all at the same time. So volume down, home, and power um, all at the same time. Just make sure that you press all three of them. 
and then it should take you into this screen right here. So it says custom OS can cause critical problem, problems, etc., etc. All you have to do is press volume up to continue and then that will take us into download mode. So you'll see download mode is right there. We are, uh, we are now there. Do not plug your phone in just yet. Don't plug it in yet, we're about to, but we need to set everything up on our PC first before we plug it in, so go back to your PC. All right, and once back to our PC, of course we have that GS3 folder that we created on our desktop. Double click on that and uh, go inside of it. And inside you will see that Odin 3 folder along with that Clockwork Mod tar file. So now what you can do is go inside that Odin 3 folder, double click on that, and you will see this blue icon with Odin 3 right there up at the top. Right click on that and hit Run as Administrator. And then go ahead and hit yes, user account control, and it should open up Odin. So here we go, here is Odin. Looks like it has been updated right here. So uh, this is Odin, basically this is what you're gonna do to Flash. You go back to stock even, or uh, just various files, recovery files, modems as well. So uh, we are just about ready to go. So let's go ahead and get Odin set up. It can be a little confusing, so just make sure you follow my instructions here. You'll see on the left side here, you have all these checks, check, boxes. Um, uncheck F reset time and only have auto reboot checked. Uh, so make sure you only have auto reboot checked and once you are done there um, we can go to this PDA button right here on the right side you'll see this PDA button. Press on that and then navigate to that desktop folder that you made that GS3 folder. Navigate to that um, and inside you will see that tar file. So you'll see that clockwork mod file. Double click on that and you will see that will get put in that PDA slot. You'll see C users desktop GS3 clockwork mod tar. Um, and there we go. So that's it. So only auto reboot checked, and you have the PDA box checked along with that clockwork mod tar in there, and we are ready to go. So that would be it. What we can do now is plug in our device into our PC. What that's going to do is uh, actually, it'll say installing dr device driver software. You'll see it'll have to do that, especially once it's in download mode. It generally always does that. Um, but there we go. So it says installing device driver software. You will also see on the left side here of Odin 3, you will see a box right here. Uh, looks like it's a blue box now. Um, and it says COM and then a number. It doesn't matter what the number is actually, just make sure that it says COM and then a number right there in that blue box. Um, that shows that Odin recognizes your device. If for any reason it doesn't, go ahead and reinstall drivers, try using, reboot your PC, reboot your phone, try and use a different cable, a different USB port. Those are generally the uh, tips, troubleshooting tips for use with Odin if you run into any issues whatsoever. So there we have it there. Again, auto reboot checked, clockwork mod tar in the PDA box and your comm box lit up. Um, and we already go, so go ahead and hit the start button in the uh, bottom of Odin, of course. Go ahead and hit that start button that's at the bottom. And once you hit start, um, it actually should show some progress. Uh, a bar right there, it's just flashing a recovery, so it shouldn't take long. You'll see that uh, bar, and it automatically reboots your phone. It says reset, pass. It took seven seconds. Um, it's automatically rebooting my Galaxy S3 from Sprint. So there we go, it said pass. And again, it should just boot my phone back up. And uh, that would be it for use with our PC. We are done with Odin completely, so we can uh, let our phone boot up and go back to our device. All right, and once your phone's booted back up, of course, you can actually unplug your device. As soon as Odin says pass, you're good to go. You can actually unplug your phone. So uh, we're not done yet. Basically what that did was install Clockwork Mod on your device, but now we're gonna need to get it rooted. So go ahead and press and hold that power button again and power off your device because we are going to need to get into our custom recovery. Um, if for any reason when you go into Clockwork Mod recovery, it does not say Clockwork Mod and it's a, it's a stock recovery, um, it, something went wrong with Odin, you can try running it again. All right, and once our device is completely powered off, we're going to need to get into our custom recovery. So here's what we're gonna need to do. Um, press and hold the volume up home button and power button all at the same time. So keep it held down, press and hold all three of them. I believe you should be able to let go once the screen lights up. So uh, once that Samsung screen lights up, you can go ahead and let go. And there we go. 
So you'll see Clockwork Mod Based Recovery. Once that Samsung screen lights up, you should uh, be able to let go. If for any reason it reboots again, just keep trying. You can try and hold, keep it held down. You can try many different things, but that's how it worked for me. So uh, here we are. Uh, you'll see it says Clockwork Mod Based Recovery up at the top. Again, as I said, if it says, says something different, something went wrong with Odin, just go ahead and run that process again. But uh, to navigate through Clockwork Mod Recovery, you use the volume keys up and down to navigate and the power button to select. You can also use that back button down the bottom right here to go back between your different menus. So let's go ahead and get this rooted. First of all, what I recommend doing is going to backup and restore and making a Nandroid backup. That's something I always recommend doing when installing Clockwork Mod Recovery on any device. So go ahead and uh, press the power button to select backup and restore and then just hit backup. Uh, what that's going to do is run through and basically back up your entire setup that your phone has at the moment. Um, restoring that backup will actually put you back to uh, almost stock. It'll be the stock ROM. It'll uh, restore all the same text messages, home screen placements, all the same apps and stuff. So, I mean, if you uh, did a factory reset for any reason and then you restored this Nandroid backup, it'll be exactly back to how it was. That's basically what an Android backup is and does. Um, so it's basically going to allow you to uh, just, if anything goes wrong whatsoever, you can restore it and you should be good to go. So again, make sure that you do do this backup. It's just something, um, as I said, you, you should do, but uh, it'll take a bit of time. So be patient with it. I'll be back once it's done. All right, so here we go. It says backup complete. You'll see it is now done uh, doing the Nandroid backup. All right, so we are ready to root once this is done. So now go to install zip from SD card right there and select the power button to select it. And then hit choose zip from SD card, select the power button again. And then you will see that uh, Clockwork Mod super user uh, file that is right there. We are gonna uh, select that zip file and then just hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that Clockwork Mod Super User zip file right there. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, install from SD card complete. We are now done. You can hit go back there or you can press that back arrow. Um, that does work as well, um, but there we go. So once installed, we can actually hit reboot system now. So go ahead and press that power button and reboot our device. What it's gonna do is obviously reboot our phone, um, and we will be booted up. We are pretty much rooted now, but there are a couple more things that needed to be that need to be done. So go ahead and let your phone boot up, and I will be back. All right, and once your phone has booted up, you're almost ready to go. You can actually go into your apps, and you should see the super user application that is right there. Um, don't go into it yet, just yet. What we can do is go into the Play Store actually, and once we're in the Play Store. So press the search button up at the top, and then what you can do is type in BusyBox without any spaces, BusyBox, B-U-S-Y-B-O-X, and hit search. Um, you will see uh, the, the first one, it is by Steven uh, Sterickson. Go ahead and select that one, BusyBox right there, and all you have to do is go ahead and hit install and accept and download. It'll be a small file, so it shouldn't take long at all. So you'll see it downloads right away, it'll install as well. Um, now once you do that, go ahead and install it and then go into it actually. Um, so go ahead and go into your app drawer or wherever you'll see BusyBox Free. Go ahead and select that BusyBox Free application. It, uh, you should be able to go into it. It should actually ask for super user permissions. Go ahead and hit allow. So allow those super user permissions for BusyBox. You can actually exit out of this. And now uh, it'll basically gather information, do its thing. Um, and now what I recommend doing is go ahead and hit install. So go ahead and install, it'll install BusyBox for you. It'll set everything up for you. It's great that this does it for you. So make sure you do rate this application. Obviously it's a great application since it does it all for you. It's installing BusyBox for us. Again, it'll take a bit of time. Let it do its thing. Be patient. Uh, we are almost done once this is uh, done doing its thing. And there we go. It looks like uh, installation of BusyBox was successful. Congrats. Uh, obviously, you can uninstall it if you'd like, but just go ahead and hit that back arrow. Exit out of the application. Now we are just about done. Now we need to go into that super user application. So go ahead and tap on super user. And what we're gonna need to do is update our binaries. So go ahead and hit OK. And uh, up at the top, you'll see this wrench. Go ahead and select that wrench. And all you have to do is, I believe, scroll down. I gotta find it. Uh, and you'll see SU binary. I believe that would be it. So select SU binary. And it says current version already installed, no action required. You can hit update anyway if you'd like. It looks like the latest version is there. 
Um, I'm going to hit update anyway. That's what I recommend doing, allowing super user access uh, SU binary updated successfully, just to ensure that it is completely updated. And there we have it. So our device is now fully rooted. Um, I mean, you can do whatever you want. You can actually install an application called uh, Root Checker. I believe uh, Root Checker from Joey Krim. Go ahead and install that real quick and it'll actually let you know if you're rooted. Since super user uh, was asking for permissions, that basically means you are rooted. Uh, we can go into that root checker application though to just double check, hit agree, verify root access, uh, allow it super user permissions. Congratulations, this device has root access. So there we have it. That would be the easiest and uh, most efficient way to root your Sprint Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy Nexus, Samsung Galaxy S3 um, uh, on Sprint, as I said. So it also installs Clockwork Mods, so we will be able to install ROMs, etc. You can restore that in Android backup you made as well. Uh, I'll be doing a how-to unroot video as it comes available at the moment. There isn't a way um, as I'm making this video, but there will be in the very near future, so definitely expect that. So be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below, so uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well, and thanks for watching.